juice vlog day two. So uh, I'm here at Safeway, 10 p.m. I've been fighting a cold, so that sucks. But uh, when you're first starting a juice fast, it's really lame to uh, only have juice that is uh, <clears throat> green. So you need a lot more, you need a lot more uh, fruits. Don't do only fruit, but more fruits. Makes it easier. Lemons, pineapples, mangoes, coconut uh, juice maybe, I don't know. I'm, I'm just trying to figure this out. So <clears throat> not much of a vlog today, but here we got some pineapples and uh, I gotta get what I gotta get and find some NyQuil or DayQuil. I could also be detoxing a little bit, but I had this cold before I started juice fasting. All right, round two. So another news, day two of the juice fast. I did great until I had two slices of sprouted wheat organic toast uh, with fake butter on it tonight. Maybe a little bit of almond butter on it. Uh, so, hey, if you fail once, keep going, keep trying. Uh, you're, you're gonna do all right. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna get there. Who I am today uh, isn't who I have to be 10 years from now or even five weeks from now or eight weeks. Oh gosh, how long am I doing this? All right, so in my previous video, I did share uh, the 12 dirty dozen that you should not buy if you're not organic. So just go back to my first video, day one juice fasting, um, if you want that link. Um, but I do have a ton of fruit here. Looks like I'll be drinking all the beet green juice that I made uh, that's sitting in my fridge. I spent about 50 bucks on yesterday. <laughs> now I just dropped about another, let's see here, 50 bucks because it was 72 bucks with the cold medicine on uh, mostly, actually, exclusively fruit. So my bad, I shouldn't have been so gung-ho and uh, just was dumb, but it'll be all right. I'm gonna make some delicious stuff. I've made some good fruit, some good juices in the past, but um, I think I just kind of went off a whim here and tried. I don't think it turned out so well. So I'll drink these first ones. We'll get through it. Let me load it up. So why do I go shopping in the middle of the night uh, to get juice supplies? Well, to be fair, I live out here in Washington. So the middle of the night starts at like 4 p.m. Uh, during the winter. Um, but also, uh, yeah, I don't know. So it was Sunday, stayed home. But with that said, Man, I hate looking at the forward-facing camera because I always end up staring at myself, and that looks really bad. So I'll try to look at the camera here. Getting used to this whole vlog life. I know how to do it. I just uh, got to put it into habit. So anyways, I got all I need for the juice and greens. My, uh, not juice and greens, but all the other stuff. The fruits, like I said. My wife looked up some awesome combinations, you know, proper combinations. I've just been, like, chopping stuff up and shoving it in because I love our new masticating juicer. Like, instead of, like, spinning really fast and, like, like vaporizing it all, it chews it and like munches it, munches it and like presses it through. So um, it's it it releases more uh, nutrients and uh, basically does something about the cells. I, I gotta I gotta get that information to you, but it's a uh, it's pretty cool. But whatever juicer you got, use it. If you don't got a juicer and you can afford to buy yourself, you know, three to four to six at most, uh, like five dollar juices from like sprouts or whole foods or fred meyers or even safeway albertson's they got it now the evolution brand is pretty good it's organic just try to keep organic when you're detoxing you can also feel sick i'm sick but it's not because of this i think but i think this might be compounding it a little bit probably not i'm just a baby so anyways uh with that said just gonna get going here get going home I didn't vlog much today because it's Sunday and what do I do being a youth pastor? I teach youth and I have a great time and then I go home and then I feel really tired. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot. So, but that's also why I'm doing this because I need more energy and I've never experienced the levels of energy that I have ever had in any level of fitness or training or even in my keto days when I was, when I was, you know, working out, what was that like? five times a week at least and I was uh, spending up to two hours a day at the gym 
I was 214 pounds, 19% body fat. I was crushing it, felt great. Um, <laughs> even then, I do not do not have the amount of energy throughout the entire day as I do when I am effectively full-time fasting. Um, and likewise, juice fasting. So it's just a matter of getting into it, not having sprouted organic wheat toast at 8 p.m. at night. So, uh, yep, I'm guilty. And I, oh yeah, I also want to confess this too, being totally transparent. I also did have like two big handfuls of tortilla chips. So you could say I've successfully uh, OMAD fasted, <laughs> which is one meal a day fasted. Uh, you know, so I'm, I, it is kind of a nice little ease into it, you know, uh, forgive yourself. That's the biggest thing is like, you know, I saw this joke online the other day and it was like, uh, this guy said, hey, you know, my, my uh, it was cause it was, you know, New Year's. He says, my New Year's resolution uh, to get fit and eat right isn't going so well uh already and it was like this on july 2nd and he's like 2021 is looking like a better year in other words i uh just totally mutilated that joke and it wasn't funny because it took so long for me to describe it oh i'll get in the habit and routine here love you guys bless you uh apparently if i post videos every day youtube likes that so uh i'm gonna try and post a 10 minute video every day somehow some way uh <sighs> I hate saying that because I feel like that's always kicking myself in the foot because it, it, it always end up doing something dumb, but I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm leaving last decade in last decade and I'm going to step into this new decade. I was just watching, I was just watching Star Trek with my daughter and uh, we were watching uh, Beta and or Data and he was meeting his old uh, counterpart Lore, I think it is. And so you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the old me behind. All right, We're moving forward, pressing on. It's easy to be excited here at the beginning of January, but uh, trust me, if you knew some of the personal stories of what I've been going through the past year, honestly, <laughs> it's it's a miracle to be excited about anything right now. God is good. God is faithful. Uh, I'm excited for what we're doing. I'm blessed. My family loves me. My children love me. My my wife loves me. Uh, we're we're obtaining even greater levels of our health, but. It has been an interesting and difficult year and, and we're just trusting the Lord and all that. So anyhow, I'm going to go home. I'm not going to juice this stuff tonight. You won't see this on this vlog uh, unless I upload it tomorrow, but it's going to be a lot brighter colors. All right. Talk to you guys later. God bless.